Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Dan Ponterfact. How are you doing, Dan? Well, here, I'm doing well. I mean, it's the middle of a pandemic, but hey, let's do this. Let's, let's chat. Do this. Let's yes. chat and have some conversation. So Dan is the author of the best-selling book, Open to Think, which I have a copy of it, and I Ooh. recommend everyone to read this. He also helps organizations and leaders become better versions of themselves. In addition to keynotes and workshops, he provides consultative services through the Pontefract Group that assess and recommend how to become more collaborative, productive, engaged, and purpose-driven. So welcome, Dan, Dan again. Welcome again. Uh, so my first question for you is, is, since you mentioned the pandemic, what do you have seen as leaders uh, doing in terms of uh, leading their teams remotely? And majority of them are working from home. Well, the good ones, because we could spend uh, way too much time talking about the ones that don't do it very well, the ones that are kind of mucking it all up. But let's, let's talk about some leaders I've seen specifically and what they're doing. Three things come to mind. First of all, uh, Maher, is empathy. Mm -hmm. uh, what, I, what I've been seeing are leaders who are understanding that not only is there stress related to the pandemic and what goes with that, whether it's job loss, uncertainty, the stress, maybe you're an elderly, elderly family, maybe kids at home all the time, maybe there's no one, maybe there's, you know, you're stuck in a flat all by yourself. Yeah. Uh, all of that uh, can add up to the inordinate number and amounts of stress. So when I see leaders who are empathetic to the situation in mm -hmm. which you know, that employee's in, I, I, I tip my hat to them because they're putting themselves not only, quote, in the shoes of the employee, but they're putting themselves in their head and the heart of that employee. And when you kind of combine how they're thinking and how they're feeling, what I find is that, you know, those empathetic leaders are doing more about it, which brings me to point number two, uh, leaders whom are checking in more frequently, i.e. informal check-ins, whether that's a phone or a text or, you know, a Zoom call or what have you, not necessarily even anything to do with work, yeah. just the, hey, how's it going? How are you? Hey, can I help you? Is there anything going on? What's up? You know, you know <laughs> yeah. et cetera. And then the third one with her is basically leaders whom are dropping the shenanigans of being mm -hmm. a quote leader. And what I mean by that is leaders who are actually opening up themselves uh, in a sense of, are they human or not? How, how are they doing? You know, telling stories about what's going on in their personal life during the pandemic, just being real. And when you know, leaders are empathetic and they're checking in more frequently and they're real, I think that's a better recipe than what um, some of the, the not so great pandemic leaders are serving up. And do you think that those uh, things that we are seeing now leaders doing will continue after pandemic or will go to our back normal stuff and normal things? Yeah, I think there's going to be a bit of both. I think this is a bit of an awakening for some leaders uh, whom have said, whoa, what the hell was I doing beforehand? I think we've got a whole whack of leaders that were like this before. And so now they're sort of just saying, well, I've been doing this all the time. I'm not going to stop. Yes. But yeah, I think there's going to be a portion of, of leaders who aren't doing it, first of all, but then a portion of leaders who maybe are being a little more empathetic, maybe a little more caring. But when it goes back to the commute, the office, the power plays, the budgets, you know, the normal, what we were doing before. Yes. Yeah, I think they're going to just fall into the retrofit of where they were before. Great. Thank you for sharing those uh, thoughts, Dan. And again, for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Dan a couple of questions and I'll post them on regularly. And as if you're sharing with us on a journey, you can check all of the videos, like them, share them, reach to us if you have any other questions and tune in tomorrow for another question with Dan.